Thousands of Hong Kong civil servants defy government to join protests. Here's a summary of the article. Hong Kong. Hong Kong police said on Friday they had arrested eight people, with a leading pro-independence figure reportedly among them, after seizing weapons and suspected bomb-making material as the city braces for another weekend of anti-government protests. Civil servants and medical workers will join the next round of weekend protests. His arrest prompted about 100 protesters to surround a police station to demand his release, television footage showed. On Wednesday, 44 people were charged in a Hong Kong court with rioting over their role in a recent protest that turned violent when thousands of activists clashed with police near Beijing's main representative office in the heart of the city. The protesters want the now suspended extradition bill to be withdrawn fully. The characterization of the protests as rioting removed, charges against those arrested dropped, and an independent inquiry into the crisis. Medical workers will also demonstrate late on Friday, with large scale protests planned for the weekend in Mong Kok, Sang Kwan O, and Western districts. Under the terms of the handover from Britain in 1997, Hong Kong was allowed to retain extensive freedoms not enjoyed on the mainland under a one country, two systems formula, including an independent judiciary and the right to protest. This post received a score of 56,812, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. So if you think there are lots of people protesting, there are lots more at home cheering them on. The protests are usually fronted by a group of students who are more militant, they're the ones with the laser pointers, throwing tear gas back at police, defacing the embassy buildings and clashing with police officers etc. Millions of people and no windows smashed, the only real defamation occurs at the embassy building. They only get violent when the police turn up and start shit, or the anti-government get violent, the protests never start violent. This is their freedom fear is the enemy. Why is the President of the United States not supporting the people of Hong Kong's cries for democracy? Save your pithy comments and think when in the last two generations would an American president not be condemning the actions of mainland China over Hong Kong? Too busy talking about how everything is cool with NK. Cool with one of the most horrific dictatorship in the world. Actually thinking about it, apart from Iran are there any dictatorship, oppressive regimes that Trump has spoken out against? He's actually spoken out against China, North Korea, and pretty much everyone except Russia that he compliments. He flip-flops whenever they out-negotiate him or insult him. Then reverts back to his normal authoritarian stargazing. Greater than out-negotiate him. Or renege in an agreement he made up in his mind. Or when they renege on a deal he's already pulled out of. I somehow get a vibe that this is a losing battle but I really want them to win. HK protest may probably be defining moment in world history given its repercussions on China and Chinese people who want democracy. It's a losing battle on the long run as long as China continues to gain power and dominance globally. Which probably is the case at least in near future. There is still a possibility that there will be a crash. China is losing out on the cheap labor game, and their megacities will be very expensive to maintain if shit hits the fan. Is that really going to happen when China is turning Africa into a second continent, gaining access to more consumers and raw resources? Depends on how fast they're losing the low-cost jobs to cheaper Asian countries. They export a lot for goods but these other countries will be doing it soon too. And they can reverse engineer almost as well as China. So we are just gonna create others, little China, because Western countries can't live without their cheap slave labors? It's not like those countries have democracy. In fact, it's because they have poor human rights that we can take advantage of them. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.